Hey guys, what is going on? Today, we're gonna to be talking about how you can use the pivot indicator, as you can see marks on your screen right now, in order to detect market bias. In other words, detect which direction you should be giving a tendency towards. Are you more leaning towards placing buys for that situation or are you more leaning towards sales? So this is gonna be a really, really powerful one. So if you're interested in that, then stay tuned. But first of all, if you're new here, my name is Sam Lowe, I help struggling traders break through to consistency. Now. If you are new, I'd appreciate you leaving a like and consider subscribing to the channel. There is also an application box in the description box below for coaching, one-on-one -on -one coaching with myself. It's a six-week program with ongoing support um, after that, which is basically the complete A to Z um, for traders. And, it, you know, it's what most traders are, are really missing um, because most traders, you know, just go through course after course and, you know, just keep on making the same mistakes. So, you know, if you're interested in making some real, real progress, then I highly recommend that you go uh, and apply for that. You also get access to the free telegram group chat just for applying so also there is a link for the psychflex academy in the description box below as well so if you're interested in that then go check that out as well but without further ado let's just get into it and so the pivot indicator right here okay so in order to find it you just type in pivot high low and it's this one right here let's just favorite that okay now the settings that i've got on this are five and four OK, the reason that I have these settings is just because I have found them to work really, really well with what I'm about to show you. Uh, I find that the best time frame to use this is the one hour or the four hours your higher time frame in order to do this. And it's just a very, very simple way to detect market bias. OK, so. In order to explain this, OK, we first need to understand market structure. OK, very, very simply, if we are going down, we have lower lows, we have lower highs, we have lower lows. We have lower highs, we have lower lows, we have lower highs, lower lows, etc. Okay. In the reverse example, in an uptrend, we have higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs. Okay, pretty simple, right? Now, if we're just taking this uptrend example, then we need to figure out when is the when are we going to change our directional bias? Now generally speaking that's going to be the last higher low okay why because if we begin to break this sorry about the dogs every single time i make a youtube video they seem to always have a little bark um, but anyway if we break this and we come down here and go like this what does that look like to you okay well to me it looks like you know even if it's temporary there is a change in the overall bias of the market, okay? We're shifting from buyers to potentially the sellers getting in control of the market, okay? And so what we can do with this information is we can begin to build a bit of a picture on how we are determining our bias, okay? And so what that means is it means if we're going up, we're looking for the last higher low to be broken in order to change bias. And until that happens, we still remain by bias. Now, in the sell example, if we just move this over here, the last lower high would be what we are looking for. Now, if that then gets broken and retested, then we can begin, you know, looking at um, potentially going long, okay, or at least changing our bias, this, you know, most people go wrong at this point because they panic and they don't know exactly how to pick these levels. You know, one day they may come at the charts and they may use, you know, this is a level and then this 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 and then this. And they might look at the line chart and be like, whoa, which level am I using here and blah, blah, blah. This is where the pivot indicator comes in. And I'm sure at this point you can see how this is going to be used okay but basically we are just going to be relying on the pivot to draw our market structure for us okay and so if we were to do it we could go from this point to 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 this point just connecting these up like dot to dot basically okay and we are basically just applying the principles of market structure to this if we remove bring this down here we can see here at this stage we are by bias okay then we break past this higher low here we come down now at this point we would be sell bias okay in fact we would remain sell bias all the way down to this point down here okay because 
when this was the lower high, this was not violated. And then when this was the lower high, it didn't get violated until up here after this point here. Now at this point, now we're going up, okay? And we can begin going for buy opportunities. Now, this on its own is not necessarily a strategy. I'm gonna give you a way that you could potentially enter it, but I just wanna quickly draw your attention back to the formula of every strategy that I talk about in, in a lot of my videos. Now, it's a three-step process. It's very, very easy. Number one is how are you coming to get your directional bias, okay? And that's basically what we've just discussed there. I've just given you an amazing way to do it. And not only that, but I've given you a way to be systematic with it. So often people will come to the charts and one day they'll be using, as I mentioned earlier, this level and then the next day this level you need a way to be systematic if you are not being systematic with how you analyze and how you enter you are not going to get systematic and consistent results it's as simple as that so once we've got our directional bias we can then move on to our area of interest okay and after that we can move on to our entry trigger or triggers okay now we have sorted this here we sorted the directional bias so for our area of interest let's just use a classic break and retest type level as our area of interest we're just looking for levels that have broken out of to previous highs and lows to be retested revisited and then traded off of okay and so we can see after this point we're going up okay and so we can begin drawing out uh, our levels okay so we can see here we can see here can see here can see here and then we have begin having them on the reverse side like this okay we can see this has actually given us a plethora of opportunities this probably wouldn't have given us one okay 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 we're still sell bias at this point um so maybe we could come and revisit that level Okay, so it's very, very simple. Okay, and then once we've got that, then, you know, simply how are we entering? Okay, well, maybe we cut down the time frame to our 15 minute, perhaps. Let's get rid of the pivot now because it's going to show a whole lot more. And then maybe just look for a rejection or a candlestick rejection in or around that zone and then look to enter based off of that. I'll probably cut down to the five minutes to give us a little bit better a chance of seeing some good setup. So we could have one here. And I know, guys, you're going to be like, yeah, yeah, this is hindsight. And like, you know, it's all great in hindsight. Sure. But, you know, the purpose of this video is just to show you, you know, the concept of this strategy and how it would 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 work. I'm more than happy to make a backtesting video for you guys to show you what this looks like in live conditions. Okay. And so just quite simply, could have something like that, stop below the zone. You know, that probably would have, uh, not hit target based on what we were targeting there, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So it's just very, very basic, guys. You know, there is really no need to overcomplicate this. You're just using the pivot indicator as a way of reading market structure reliably and not changing from day to day how you're reading it one day to how you're reading it another day. It's really, really as simple as that. Okay. So I really, really hope that you've enjoyed this video. I really, really hope that you uh, have found value from it and that you uh, are able to go and, you know, take this forward and then use it however you choose to use it. If you have enjoyed it, I'd appreciate you leaving a like. Uh, it really does help support the channel and comment your thoughts below. Maybe some other content ideas. I'm always looking for content ideas. And uh, and yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching again. Go check out those links in the description box below if you want to level up your trading. And until next time, guys, take it very, very easy and I will see you very, very soon.